Greetings and welcome to Crossroads Christian Fellowship in La Paz, Baja California Sur. We're glad that you're with us this morning and we're excited about another day of worship. This morning we're going to be doing things a little bit different. Alejandra Rojano has come in to give us a little bit of an update about what she's been doing on the outskirts of town, especially in Vista Hermosa. So we're going to hear about that and we're also going to hear from some of the people that have received some of the dispensa or some of the uh, food that we've handed out out there. It's really actually pretty cool, so I think you'll like it. We just wanted to change it up just a little bit. Please know that we continue to pray for you and yours, and we trust that God is providing for all your needs. If you have any specific prayer requests, please let me know, let Allison know, let Milton know, let Alejandra know, and we can put them on our list. And so we are very faithful to lift you up before the Lord. And finally, let's pray before we worship the Lord together. Father, we thank you for your love and mercy. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, and we thank you for the privilege that it is to gather together in your name and to worship you for who you are and to praise you for what you've done. Father, we commit this service into your hands and trust that it'll be a sweet-smelling aroma to you. And I pray, Father, that it would be a blessing to us. I pray that you would speak to our minds and to our hearts from your word and that we would be encouraged by what we see and what we hear about what you are doing in and around La Paz and around the world. So we thank you for these things and we commit this time into your hands. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's worship the Lord together. Good morning, Crossroads. It's, it's good to be here again. Uh, let's uh, worship our Lord together uh, because it's no better, no better place to be than here in the house of the Lord. Uh, let's start singing How Grace how great is our God. grande es nuestro Dios, canta conmigo, grande es Dios, y todos podrán ver cuán grande es nuestro Dios. An HD, HD stands, beginning and the end, beginning and the end. The Godhead three in one Father, Spirit, Son The Lion and the Lamb The Lion and the Lamb How great is our God Sing with me how great is our God And all we see how great How great is our God Cuán grande es nuestro Dios, canta conmigo, grande es Dios, y todos podrán ver cuán grande es nuestro Dios. Is our God name of all names? So you are worthy of all praise. My heart will sing how great is our God. How great is our God? Sing with me how great. 
is our God, and all will see how great, how great is our God. Cuán grande es nuestro Dios, canta conmigo, grande es Dios, y todos podrán ver cuán grande es nuestro Dios. How great. Is our God, sing with me how great is our God, and all we see how great, how great is our God. Okay, let's try with Marvel's light. Marvelous light, I'm running out of darkness, out of shame. By the cross, you are the truth, you are the life, you are the way. I once was fatherless, a stranger with no hope. Your kindness waken, waken from my sleep and now your love be there comes deep. Your call now come and die. By grace now I will come and take this life. Take your life. Sin has lost its power. Dead has lost its day. Victoriously into marvelous light I'm running Out of darkness, out of shame By the cross you are the truth You are the life, you are the way Into marvelous light I'm running Out of darkness, out of shame By the cross you are the truth You are the life, you are all the way My dead heart now is beating My deepest stains now clear Your breath fill up my lungs And now I'm free Now I'm free My dead heart now is beating My deep now clear, your breath fill up my lungs, and now I'm free, I am free. Sin has lost its power, dead has lost its sting, from the grave you risen, victoriously into marvelous lie I'm running, out of darkness out of shame by the cross you are the true you are the life you are the way into marvelous lie I'm running out of darkness out of shame by the cross you are the true you are the life you are the way Show the world Christ in you. I lift my hands and spin around. Oh, see the lie that I have found. Oh, the marvelous lie, marvelous lie is Christ in you. I lift my hands and spin around. Oh, see the lie that I have found. Oh, the marvelous life, marvelous life. I lift my hands and spin around. 
Or oh, see the light that I have found For the marvelous light, marvelous light Is Christ in you I lift my hands and spin around Or oh, see the light that I have found For the marvelous light, marvelous light Into marvelous light I'm running out of darkness, out of shame By the cross you are the truth You are the life, you are the way Into marvelous light I'm running Out of darkness, out of shame By the cross you are the truth You are the life, you are the way Into marvelous light I'm running out of darkness, out of shame, by the cross you are the truth, you are the light, you are the way. Now let's try with Waymaker. Abres camino, cumples promesas, luz en tinieblas, mi Dios, así eres tú. Milagroso, abres camino, cumples promesas, luz en tinieblas, mi Dios, así eres tú, así eres tú. Así eres tú, así eres tú. You wipe away your tears, you 
mend the broken heart You're the answer to it all She saw You wipe away our tears You mend the broken life You're the answer to it all, to it all Jesus, you are way maker, miracle walker Promise keeper, light in the darkness My God, that is who you are Way maker, miracle walker Promise keeper, light in the darkness my God, that is who you are, that is who you are, that is who you are, that is who you are. Hello, Crossroads and friends of Crossroads. My name is Alejandra Rojano. And I want to share with you a little message of what we are doing here at Crossroads. I will call it a new outfit. I want us to go to our Bible, to the letter to the Colossians, chapter 3, verses 12 to 15. So it says, So as those who have been chosen of God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving each other. Whoever has a complaint against anyone, just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. Beyond all these things, put on love, which is the perfect bond of unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for the opportunity of being here. And I pray, Father, that your Holy Spirit can talk to our hearts. Prepare us, Father, and thank you for the opportunity of being your hands, your heart, and your voice to others. Thank you, Father. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to talk about a new outfit. This pandemic has brought an eternal spring cleaning. We are getting rid of many things, and of course, we love making room for new stuff. For example, we all need to think about a new outfit once we are ready to finish this quarantine. Well, at Crossroads Christian Fellowship, we have decided to wear a new outfit, and it's like to start from the end to the beginning. With Thanksgiving, we are very grateful because we are a small church with a big heart. And I definitely praise God for that. About a year ago, Susu and I started working more in Vista Hermosa. We got this opportunity and we prayed to God um, to give us a group. They invested their time, their talent, their energy in making a difference we got the opportunity to connect with people. It was not just rules and regulations, but we started building relationships. And we want these relationships to be clothed with compassion, kindness, humbleness, gentleness, patience, forgiveness, love, and thankfulness. If we go little by little, Pastor Peter has told us many times to love others compassionately. That's what we need. These families live in hard conditions. Most of them have been asked not to go to work and they don't have a salary or savings to take care of their families. They have kids and grandparents to take care of. They have numerous families and that has brought compassion to many of you who have generously shared from what God has given you to somehow help them provide for their basic needs. With mercy, they say in other versions. Thank you very much, friends, um, family, Crossroads, 
for all you have shared. But it also says that we have to do it with humbleness, with a humble heart. I don't think that we are better than anyone else. We also were saved. Our lives were so miserable, and the Lord saw us with love and compassion. He came to us, and that's the way we have to go to them, with that humbleness, knowing that we are not way better than them. We were like zombies, and in this time of quarantine, I have seen many people being like zombies. They are wearing their masks, they are wearing gloves, and just listening to the news and listening to the media and just being in this panic dance. Well, we have to change that and wear our humbleness glasses where we get to see ourselves as those zombies we once were. Just by the pure grace of God, now we were saved and we are saved to bring hope to these people up in the colonia. The people around us who somehow help us with the contributions, they're ones, the ones at the store, they wonder why we do this. Our friends, our neighbors, it's good news. We're not doing anything extraordinary, just putting our hearts, our humbled effort in bringing this compassionate help to the people in the colonia. It's funny because we have many images of them receiving their food. It's hard to see a smile in their faces. How could they smile? They are sad. They are desperate. They don't have enough to feed their families. So that's why we have to give it with humbleness. The Apostle Paul also invites us to do it gently. Sometimes we just go and give food, but that doesn't mean that we are being gentle. It's like when we try to put on contact lenses, well, we don't poke our eye. We have to do it gently. So that's the way we're doing it. Uh, we received the blessing of having a family there. Her name is Anna. She has three children, and they are gently going around the colonia, knowing who really needs the help. They go every time they receive the dispensas, and they tell them, come and get your food. They do it with a humble heart. It's so nice because every week, now every 10 days, they get to bring food to the families. And well, little by little, things are going back to normal. We don't know if the next month we will be able to bring it instead of three times or four times a week, probably every 15 days. And well, we just don't know. The Lord is leading us and we are gently doing this with humbleness. Because I love Anna and her family because sometimes she calls me and she says, Ale, there's another family you need. I can give them my food. It's not necessary, Anna. God has provided enough for most of them. So it's nice, but it's also hard sometimes because people sometimes just want to take. And, you know, they are negative, they, they are envious. But as I have told Anna, it's time to forgive, to be gentle with them because they also need that. They need to see our love and we have to do it just patiently. It's been beautiful because we have seen how the Lord has brought <laughs> Sacks of bean not coming to an end. It's just like the stories in the Bible. The jar of oil, having enough oil for everybody. I am really thankful because we have been patiently waiting the right time to share the, person, the personal message of Jesus. Sometimes, as believers, we want to come and take these opportunities to share how much love God has for them. This is not our case. Right now, we are loving them. We are praying for them. We are praying that their hearts are ready and we are waiting patiently. That was the way the Lord made it with me. He didn't push me. He didn't 
give me all the Bible verses. He was patient with me, and that's the way we're working with them, patiently. We're waiting. We don't know when. Probably when this quarantine gets over, we will have the chance to share with them more openly what the gospel is, the good news of salvation are for them. So we are patiently praying. So we've been compassionate, humble, gentle, forgiving, patient. And well, isn't this beautiful? It's just an opportunity to do God's work. Um, he has planted this in our hearts. And it's so beautiful to share what we have, what we have received. It's not the effort of one or three people or five people. We have your heart. Everybody has been working on this. Thank you for your prayers. You have supported our, our ministry. And I pray that we can continue to see the hand of God providing for their needs, not only for their physical needs, but for their psychological, emotional, and spiritual needs. We don't know when, we don't know the right timing, but the Lord is in control. So stop walking as a zombie. You can now share with us and you are part of this. Thank you because the jar of oil still has oil and we have enough to go and share every week. We have some people that that have received many blessings. They have had enough to feed their families. And well, just please keep on praying for them that they can have the heart ready to receive the seed so that this seed can grow and can bring good fruit. Also pray for us to have wisdom. Pray for Anna and her family so that they are protected all the time and Remember, above all, be compassionate. Thank you for being humble and kind, for forgiving and loving everyone. Be kind. Mm, did I say kind again? Well, yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> we need to be patient and above all, to have a thankful heart. Thank you for the opportunity to, to do this because we wouldn't be able to do it if it wasn't for you. Thank you, and now that you come back, you can go and see the fruit you planted there. Thank you very much. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for the opportunity of serving you, of being your feet, your hands, your eyes. Thank you, Father, because we can pray for them and with them because we can share your love and compassion. Thank you, Father, because you saved us once for this, for a time like this. We don't know what is to come, but we know that you're coming soon. Let us be ready and let us be aware of the work you are doing. Thank you, Father, because we can share with people here and there. Thank you, because there is a lot of need in La Paz, and somehow you have provided to go to other places and to other families. Thank you, Father, because you are, you are a good Father. You care for us. You are the one who provides us. You are Jire, the one who provides. Thank you, Father. We pray and we want to worship your name for who you are. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And now, in closing, we would like to share a message from some of the people you have been helping in the colony. There are too many for us to share, but here is just a little sample for you. Muchas gracias por el apoyo que nos están brindando con las despensas. Gracias. Gracias por la despensa que me han dado. Ya con esta han sido tres veces que me he recibido la ayuda. Muchas gracias. Y muchas gracias por su apoyo. 
y muchas gracias y que espero que hasta que acabe el episodio. Estoy en espera y la verdad les agradezco mucho de corazón la ayuda que nos están dando. Bendiciones para todos. Ah, muchas gracias. <risa> gracias. Gracias a, a las pensas que me han dado. Y gracias por la ayuda. Gracias. Y pues le doy las gracias. Muchas gracias por el apoyo que me han dado. Y muchas gracias por la pensas. Gracias. Gracias. <risa> Muchas gracias por el apoyo. Y pues muchas gracias. Gracias por ello y, y muchas gracias, Ramón. Espero seguir contando con su ayuda y muchas gracias. Y muchas gracias, espero seguir contando con su ayuda. Muchas gracias por el apoyo que nos han dado. Y pues muchas gracias por el apoyo que nos han dado. Muchas gracias por el apoyo que nos dan y espero seguir teniendo su apoyo. Este, muchas gracias porque me ha servido de mucho ya que ahorita no tengo empleo. Les agradecemos en, en nombre de toda mi familia, gracias. De antemano estoy agradecido por la ayuda que se ha dado y pues es todo. ¿Ah? Y muchas gracias por el apoyo que nos han dado. Dispensas. Y se les agradece. ¡Bum! Muchas gracias. Y... Gracias. Estoy muy agradecido de las despensas que me han dado. Me han ayudado. Uh -huh. este, pues me están ofreciendo unas despensas, gracias a Dios. Es la primera despensa que recibo. Gracias a Dios y a ustedes. Muchas gracias por este apoyo que nos está sirviendo bastante, algo bien, ¿verdad? Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Que Dios los bendiga. May the Lord bless you all. Okay, it's time to sing. You are my king. I'm forgiven because you were forsaken. I'm accepted. You were content. I'm alive, I'm well. Your spirit is within me because you died and rose again. I'm forgiven because you were forsaken. I'm accepted. I'm alive, I'm well, your spirit is within me, because you die and rose again. Amazing love, how can it be that you, my King, will die? Amazing love, I know it's true, and it's my joy to honor you. I'm forgiven because you were forsaken. I'm accepted, you were confident. I'm alive and well, your spirit is within me, because you died and rose again. Amazing love, how can it be that you, my King, would die for me? Amazing love. Amazing 
Jesus, you are my King. Jesus, you are my King. Amazing love, how can it be that you, my King, will die for? Basic love, I know is true, and it's my joy to honor you. Basic love, how can it be that you, my King, will die for? I honor you. Let's sing Revelation song. Of lighting, roll of thunder, blessing and honor, strength and glory and power be to you, the only wise King. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is. 
is and is to come. With all creation I sing praise to the King of Kings. You are my everything and I will adore you. It's good to sing worship songs together. I love that song, the Revelation song. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come. I'd like to just close with a couple of announcements. Number one, uh, as you've seen in the video, we are continuing to do the work in the outskirts of town. and just a great work, and it's so good to see those folks that are super thankful. We continue to pray that they're bodies wouldn't be only fed, but that their souls would be fed as well. And so we are praying for a, a mighty in-gathering, a mighty harvest of souls through our efforts out that, out that way. And who knows, maybe even one day um, a church plant out there. So go to our website and you can continue to give for that or any other thing God might lay on your heart, crossroadslapaz.com. Um, and also we are going to announce that unless anything happens that is extraordinary in this next week, we should be worshiping here next Sunday. And so it looks like things are opening up on Monday and we have the green light to go ahead and worship here. We're going to do it safely, of course, but we want to let you know that this is probably going to be our, at least our last broadcast of this type. So be looking forward to that. Be looking forward to that next week and be at same, the same time at 9 o'clock. What we're going to try to do is probably have an overlap where we're going to have a live feed for those who are here locally that won't be able to make it and those who are um, in another country. And so we'll have a period of overlap where we're doing both uh, live services and a live streaming. Not sure how long that'll last, but be looking for that. We'll give you some more information about that. But we are actually very excited about that, as I'm sure you are as well. So please be praying with us as we make those decisions. And last but not least, we want to leave you with the benediction. I want to pray God's blessing over you and over your family. So wherever you're at, please close your eyes and extend your hands and receive the benediction of the Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I pray peace upon your family, upon your relationships, upon your health, upon your finances, upon your work, upon your children, upon your grandchildren, upon your great-grandchildren to the fifth generation. 
I pray that all of your children would find godly spouses from good families. We pray God's richest blessing upon you and yours, and we ask in Jesus' name that you would share that blessing with others. The word says that God blesses us so that we can be a blessing with others or to others. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you very much. Have a great week, and we look forward to seeing you here, hopefully some of you next week for worship. And please remember that we will have our, our Sunday Zoom meeting at 10 o'clock, and so Milton will have all that information up on the website, and so we'll see you in about 10 or 15 minutes. God bless you all, and thank you again.